No, no, sorry, not ready yet. Just another five minutes, if that's okay. Do you want me to get you anything while you wait? Just another five minutes. I'm waiting for a friend to arrive. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I will either have to order you a coffee or ask you to leave. <sighs> right. Is a coffee okay? Uh, coffee. Sorry, I mean, um, an Americano. Just a, a plain old regular Americano. No worries. Thank you. Americano? Are you not going to say anything then? It wasn't exactly an eventful trip, really. You took forever! I was reading their signs. <sighs> did you get a good gawk then, yeah? I did, actually. I feel very well informed now, thank you very much. Still doesn't excuse you being gone for ten minutes. <laughs> well, ten minutes is fairly generous for what I was getting up in there. <laughs> You're vile, Christ. <laughs> Listen, when nature calls... Oh, stop! Listen, Jane, like, you were practically begging for me to tell you. Oh, shut up, I was not. He hasn't arrived yet, anyway. No. I haven't heard from him yet. You weren't waiting for him there, I see. I had to, because... they were going to kick us out. What? Just say that again, I didn't hear you. I said... they were going to kick us out. Speak louder, I can't hear you for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, check your phone. They were going to kick us out. Shh. What? Stop. Right. Shh. <laughs> you didn't even get me one. Well, Mother Nature was calling. Oh, you, so. you don't have to announce it to everyone. Jesus. We've moved past that. Mm. Did you not say where he was or anything, though? No. I haven't heard from him since about one. That's unusual. Mm. Do you want me to ring him? Excuse me, sir, are you waiting on an order? No, uh, no, 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 I'm just deciding. Wait a minute. I'm just going to have to ask you to no. join the queue to, to order. Join oh. the queue to order. Right, uh, yeah, no, no worries, mate. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, did you want the key? No. I was actually approached and asked what I wanted. Yeah, right, well, it looks like I'm gone for another few anyway. Mm. Where does this queue start? Ah, oh, Jesus. Hey, Orin. Hope you're okay with making it today. Myself and Morris both said it wasn't like you to not be here, and to not have text to say that you would be late. We're not blaming you. Well, I'm not. Morris is queuing for coffee. If you reply to this quick, we should be able to order you something before he gets to the top? Question mark? Delete. Of the queue? Question mark? Yeah, I'll be there for you. They're playing your favourite song in here. But I'm sitting at the table alone, so I've no one to sing along with it to. Delete. Delete, delete, delete. When you do get here, we could leave, or... Delete. Should leave. Or we can just meet you somewhere else. It's getting crowded fairly quickly, and I haven't seen Morris make it back inside the door. The queue is that long. It feels weird being back out. Even though we've done this before. Delete. Countless times before. Going to get coffee and just hanging around. I know it feels weird even being around your friends again. I'm still actually easily pissed off by Morris. He's such a little shit. He reminds me of your brother that time we came over for the barbecue that summer. You know, the one with Ashley and Teddy and Kira and Rob? 
There was a scorcher, a definite high 20s, borderline 30s for the entire day. And you said, and you said okay, sure, just hey, come over, sure. I'll flare up just the Barbie. Over, flare and we all Barbie. took the piss out of you for it. Your brother was so interested in seeing everyone you had over. It was like he was fully convinced you had zero friends and spent all of your time alone or something. Because as soon as he saw me walking up the driveway, I could see his eyes get huge. And I could kind of hear him shouting up to someone, There's a girl walking up the driveway! And then Kira arrived, and again he was like, Oh my god, Orn, another one! <laughs> and I just wet myself laughing. It was comedy. You couldn't make it up. I think someone sent him away. Your mom called him, or maybe he just wanted to spy from his room. He went away anyway. But I could see him peeking out every so often. Mischievous. I'm looking around and seeing everyone in their twos and threes, and every time a lone person walks by, it's the eyes. They just go, and then they turn around and find something else to lose themselves completely over. I missed you guys though. I missed doing these things. I missed doing these things and... Oh, that's just cringe. No one talks like that. I missed doing these things. Shut up. Delete. Open on the back of a woman, sitting on a park bench on a dull day. In front is a body of water, with swans swimming, coupled and freely. She is waiting. No, delete that. She is sitting. Hello? You can ask him yourself. Oh, there he is. Well? Well? Story. Everything okay? Oh, yeah, no, fine. Just said we'd give you a call. Alright, yeah. Yeah. That's home. Yeah, it's grand. He said to come out the mouse. So I see. Mad that you two are together. You're not. Just shut up. You didn't mean it like that. I'm only skin, which you're from Boxing. Glad to see some. Fucking first half. You just did it to me. Yeah, well. Glad to see some. No, you didn't. Exactly. Now see, see. I just think some things never change, do they, Orin? No, man, they don't. Just sit back just there slightly. Adhering to rules, I see. Yeah, no worries. Take your time. Are you there? <sighs> Contently. She is not. Delete that. Jane is sitting contently. It is not too cold and not too warm. It is not too breezy or too flat. It's neither overcast or... Shit, what's the phrase? Undercast? She is sitting and she is watching. She is sipping a coffee. A man, Morris, enters. He is smirking and looking quite smug. Morris. Knew I'd find you here. Jane. What makes you say that? You're an Aquarius. What's that got to do with? Aqua. Water. Simple. <laughs> You're taking the piss again. I know. I saw that red jacket and I thought, now who the hell would be so brave as to wear that? <laughs> I'm messing. Sure, sure. I am. It's 
It's a funny old day out, isn't it? How do you mean? I don't know. It's just, it's kind of tacky or something, isn't it? Like I was walking through town there and I felt like I was trudging through tar. You've trudged through tar before, so? No. No, it's just what I imagine it feels like. Like every step kind of felt like it was heavy, you know? You should invest in new shoes then. You have to have a smart comment for everything I say. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm trying to be serious here. Sorry, I'll stop. It's like, you know, when you're younger and you have those child leads or something. I don't know what the actual name for them was, but that's what they are in my head. Child leads. And you'd be there running about and all of a sudden it's just like you're trying to pull a ton of bricks. And no, I haven't moved a ton of bricks before you start. It's just what I think it's like. Or it's like you're in a dream and each step feels like it takes 20 seconds for it to land. It's kind of like that. I don't understand you, Morris. No, I think it's two things I'm trying to say. You're listening to a song, say, right? And you get to the end and you're like, yeah, that was a really nice song. I'm going to put it on again. And you do. And you get to the end. You get to the end and you have that same feeling as you did before. Only, you know, it's just, it's a little bit before, just... Maybe just after. No, it's like you're on a roller coaster, right? You know, at the beginning you're, you might not be saying much, but then you're going down and it's all laughing and screaming, yeah? And then you get to the end and yeah, sure, you might be a little bit exhausted, but it was fun, you know? What? You're waiting on a call, right? And this call, you know that you're really, really going to enjoy. Because speaking to the person at the other end of the phone is like, Honey, honey trickling, down, trickling down your throat. It's enrapturing. It's enrapturing. It fills your insides your warm inside side of it. Explodes like it explodes like fireworks. It like fireworks. Sets your brain alight with, with words, words new found words and colours from ages gone by. Because this call from is the one most by. important thing in the world because to this someone. Call and speaking or even listening is the, one is one the most enjoyable one. thing in the world because nothing else matters. Nothing else matters because once it's gone, it's gone forever. Irreplaceable. The only problem is starting the call.